the A10C Warthog, the second oldest full fidelity module in all of DCS. Systems-wise, this is probably the most complicated aircraft to learn, from employing weapons to entering waypoints, and heck, even its startup procedure. There is a lot to take in with this aircraft, so much so that it's understandable to think that an expensive HOTAS and head tracking are a minimum to take full advantage of its system suite. Well, I'm here to show you that none of that is necessary. With a modest gamepad like an Xbox or PlayStation controller, you too can tame the beast. And today, we're going to the hunting grounds. So sit back, relax, and watch as we take to the skies and provide close air support for boots on the ground at the fantastic mission by Sithis, Apache Hunting Ground. Link to the mission is in the description below. You'll also find a link to this A10C gamepad layout, as well as other DCS controller layouts I've created so far. The nice thing about Apache Hunting Grounds is, while it was designed with the Apache in mind, the author Sithis has graciously included a number of different aircraft to use in addition to the AH-64Ds. So for example, you can fly AV-8Bs, you could fly, I don't know, P-51Ds, Mustangs if you really wanted to, but in our case, we're taking the A-10C out for a spin. Also, what I just did was set up the laser code 1337, because it's pretty elite. Oh boy, that just dated myself. But yeah, so I set it up so that that targeting pod there can emit that laser code, because all my weapons are also configured to receive laser code 1337. This will allow me to guide in my ordnance with extra precision, should it be deemed necessary. If you notice, even though I'm at a very safe altitude of about 10,000 feet, I'm still keeping eyes out of the cockpit just in case something hostile is coming my way. Yeah, so there I was able to spot a tiny speck on the ground, so I went ahead and used my Hemix to mark that spot on the ground. And I switched over to my targeting pod to further confirm what exactly that spec was. And using TMS right, I went ahead and stored it as a mark point just in case I needed to deal with it later. So here I was lucky enough to spot the convoy pretty much right away. Hammer told us that they were moving west down the MSR, so main supply route, and now I just quickly set a point on the ground using my helmet, and once again use the targeting pod to further refine that look on that convoy. After the run-in, I started popping flares just in case there happened to be a man pad or some other short-range air defense. Luckily, the APCI guns seem to be the only real threat amongst the convoy, so I should be free to continue on with my run-ins. Pull up! Pull up! Altitude! Altitude! Pull up! Pull up! Pull up! 
Aside from a few close calls with a few trees, uh, that wasn't too bad for the first task of the day. I'm now headed back to request a new one. For this next one, we were lucky enough to get coordinates, so I went ahead and entered into my CDU for steer point 7. And at this point, if you couldn't tell, after entering the uh, MGRS into my scratch pad, I'm mashing away at the, uh, at the option to set it, but for whatever reason, it's not taking. And uh, after some fiddling around, I found out it's because, duh, I need, to, <laughs> I need to hit that button next to the question mark and a 7 in order to create a new steer point, and then I can re-enter it into the scratch pad and set it as the uh, coordinate. Alright, so let's play a little game. That part about marking own position with green smoke, keep that in mind. And let me know in the comments where I clearly didn't pay any attention. Order, frogman. We're taking fire from the building directly to us. We're marking with red smoke. You're clear, huh?
I knew I messed up, but hey, second task of the day completed. Time for a new one. Let's play another game. I make a classic mistake here trying to fire my laser maverick. Let's see if you can spot it. With the convoy scattered, I took this opportunity to find the next highest threat. As far as I could tell, the only thing that could shoot back was this one remaining APC. One last look at the remaining targets confirmed nothing else could shoot back. So I guess it was time to have some fun because we're going in for guns. At this point I was getting pretty sparse on ammo but I could do one more task. For this final task, the coordinates I received was just an approximate location of another convoy. Luckily, being in an A-10, we have the luxury of flying much higher up than an Apache, so I was able to spot the convoy pretty much right away. And here, our biggest threat is the ZU-23 on the back of this truck. Luckily, I still had one last Maverick just itching to be rifled. Apparently, that Maverick took out every single foot soldier in that convoy along with the ZU-23. I could have RTB'd at this point, but I thought I should probably clean up the last remaining combat-capable vehicle.
And that did it. At this point, it was time to RTB. But I had one last loose end to tie up. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like. And if you really liked it and like to see more of this kind of stuff, subscribe and stay tuned for my next DCS World video. And if you wanted to give DCS a shot yourself with your own Xbox, PlayStation, or other gamepad controller, check out the description for my guides on how to do just that. Take care, guys. Have a nice day.